New details about that terrifying home invasion involving former Real Housewives of New Jersey star Dina Manzo and her boyfriend. TJ Holmes is here with that story for us. Good morning, TJ. Uh, good morning to you, Robin. They had just gone out for an evening of celebration. They get back home and walk in on two people robbing their home. Well, what did the intruders do? They didn't run off. Instead, they went from robbery to assault and used their fist and a bat on Manzo and her boyfriend. Bring it on. She's the reality star from Bravo's Real Housewives of New Jersey. And you started vicious lies that could hurt my child. But a new reality this morning for Dina Manzo after surviving a terrifying home invasion over the weekend. Investigators say Manzo and her boyfriend, David Canton, were brutally attacked inside their Homedale, New Jersey townhouse. The 47-year-old mother of one, who now lives in California, was back in New Jersey to celebrate the first Holy Communion of her goddaughter, who is the daughter of former Housewives co-star star Teresa Judice. Police say just before 11 p.m. Saturday, Manzo and Canton were returning home from the celebration when they were attacked by two masked intruders. Everyone keeps an eye out on everyone else here because it's a it's a small community. Canton was struck several times with a baseball bat by one of the assailants. Manzo was punched multiple times by the other. They were both tied up while the robbers stole cash and jewelry. Eventually, Canton was able to free himself and call 911. The two were taken to the hospital and treated for facial injuries. Their attorney tells ABC News, Dina and David are obviously shaken from the traumatic and violent home invasion and robbery. No one should ever have to go through what they did. Judice, who posted these photos with Manzo just hours before the attack, tells ABC News, I am very shaken by what has happened and very concerned for my friend who I love like a sister. I hope that whoever did this is caught and punished. The brutality tells me that these are amateurs that they overreacted during a burglary or home invasion and beat the victims for no real cause. And of course, the question is, were they targeted? We don't know that just yet. Police are asking for help, for tips, because it's one thing. Yes, you want to catch a criminal who's trying to rob somebody, but these are two potentially very violent people who are still yeah. out there on the loose. And as bad as it sounded, they're out of the hospital, expected to make yeah. a full recovery. That's a good part of it. Yeah. All right. Thank you, TJ. You